Hi, second grade. Today is lesson four, page 29, and we're going to make tens. And if you have a mat in your map folder like this, you can get that out. If you don't have one, then you need to push pause right now and make this, draw this on a piece of scratch paper, and you can keep that in your folder to use any time. So push pause and then draw this. We will be using the make tens. So you, after you've pushed play, I'm going to start right now. So hopefully you had one in your um, a work mat. Uh, the next time we have bag deployment, I'll get one of those in your bag. So make 10 and let's get started. Make a 10. What strategies can I use to add and subtract? Well, one strategy, we're going to do that today, make a 10. There's a 10 frame. We call that a 10 frame. I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the top, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on the bottom. That's a 10 frame, and right here is another 10 frame. So we have two 10 frames. All right. Says, place 13 counters in a cup. Well... That's for you to do at home. Put 13 in a cup, or you can have a pretend cup, 13, and then we're going to dump those 13. All right, and then we're going to place those on your mats. We're going to place yellow counters in the bottom 10 frame, and then we're going to write the addition sentence. Move yellow counters into the top 10 frame, to make 10. Write the addition sentence. All right. I'm going to put red counters in the top 10 frame and yellow counters in the bottom 10 frame. So you dump your 13 and what do you get? Each time that you dump that cup, you'll get a different number. So uh, probably you'll get different counter numbers. So I'm going to show you the counters that I dumped, and I got 13, and I got 6 red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the yellow counters, which I'm going to use green, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven. That's what mine look like. Now yours may very well look different because every time you dump those 13, they're going to look a little bit different. Well, we have six, and we so five, six, five, six, seven. We have six and seven. I'm going to slide mine up. I'm going to erase my drawings. You have yours on your mat. Says to write a sentence. Well, we can write that two different ways. We can write six plus seven, and I counted 13 when I dumped. It must be 13. And yes, six plus seven is 13. Six plus six is the double, 12, and one more is 13. But I can flip my two add-ins around, and I will still get the same answer. Remember, doesn't matter which way you add, the 6 plus 7 more, or the 7 plus 6 more, still 13. Wouldn't matter if I counted the red chips first, and then the yellow, or I counted the yellow, and then the red. All together, in all, the sum is still going to be 13. Let's turn the page and look at our guided practice. Here you can see we have those 10 frames. So first, you can show 8 with the red, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then show 4. There's 4. You can 
push pause, get that ready. Next, take part four, take apart the four to make a 10. All right, I'm gonna slide two yellows to make a 10. Making 10s allows us to add faster because it's easy to add 10 and then another part. So 10 plus five, 15. 10 plus six, 16. 10 plus nine, 10 plus nine, 19. 10 plus three, 13. 10 plus four, 14. 10 plus five, 15. 10 plus six, 16. You practice those too. Let's continue. The last thing is add 10 and two more now that we made a 10. 10, 11, 12. 8 plus 4. Now we're doing it without the max. We take the 8, we have a number sentence, and we say 8 is kind of getting close to a 10. So if I take 2 from that 4 to make a 10, I have 2 left over. And you can see right here, 4 is 2 plus 2, total 4, and we put 2 with the 8 to make 8, 9, 10. So 8 in the blue, 2 makes 10, 2 left over. Now you have 10 plus 2. So 8 plus 4 is exactly the same as 10 plus 2 as far as the sum goes. And you can trace over that. 10 plus 2 equals 12. If 8 plus 2 equal 10, well, 8 plus 4 equals 12. Let's take a practice with our work mats. So we have the work mat with a number, and then we have a number sentence. Same thing. There's nine red, five, well, all but one. That's nine. And one row on the tens frame is five. Nine plus five. Slide one up to make a ten, and there'll be four. So this will be green. It slides up here, so it's not there anymore. We slide it up to make 10 and 4. 9, put 1 over there to make a 10 with 4 left. 10 plus 4, 14. 10 plus 7, 17. 10 plus 9, 19. You practice your 10s. Practice this making 10s. It'll be easy. 7 and 5. We're going to slide some over to the 7. How many do we need? 3 slide up. How many are left? Two. So seven plus five is just like a ten and two. Ten and two is twelve. Take some practice, second grade. It does take some practice, but I know you can do it. You practice making tens, and you can do this in second grade. You can do it in third grade, fourth grade, and you can do it with bigger numbers. Moving numbers around, looking at them and having it make sense that I can make a 10 and some left over because that will help me go quicker. Nice to get answers fast. Erase that. Slide and practice up. A couple more. Practice. Actually, let Mr. B practice one right here. All right, let's try big number. All right. 9 plus 7. How many would I have to move over? That 9 is pretty close to the 10. How many would I have to move over to make that a 10? 1. If I did slide 1 from the 7 to make a 10, how many are left in the 7? Take 1 away from the 7. 6. This would be the same as 10 plus 6. If I get good at it, I can do it in my head. I can see that. 10 plus 6, 16. 9 plus 7, 16. Minus 1 here and plus it on this side. So you have 9 red, you slide one of the yellows to make a 10, and you have 6 yellows left. 16. Here's the question to tell your home, tell your home helper, name all the facts you know that have a sum of 10. You can speak that. How do you get the sum of 10? There'll be quite a few of them. 
Good luck with that. The home helper can give a little hint if you get stuck to get started. See if you can get all of those. And you can find your activity on Seesaw and keep doing a great job.